have been recycling new artistic dimensions. The images were sourced from children through a workshop process. Artist Richard Roth then transformed them into works of art. It also required some technical skills. I experimented at home on, on a small scale uh, on my kitchen stove <laughs> and it worked beautifully. But when it came to larger pieces like this, uh, that's when the challenges started. Um, it's melted plastic into a stainless steel mesh and I learned a lot about how heat behaves. So yeah, there were lots of technical challenges in getting it done. The artwork on the Duncan symbolizes Nelson Mandela's 67 years dedicated to the freedom of South Africa. It includes 67 steps leading up to the second largest flag in Africa. We are very excited about it because it really is the cherry on the top uh, of all the art pieces on the Duncan um, being the last one. It's really closing off the project. Keeping visitors spellbound. Well, I think it's really great. Like um, Nelson Mandela died last year and the fact that people are still doing things to commemorate like his legacy, it's quite great. Especially the new edition of the bottle caps. That's really lovely. I mean, recycling, using recycled goods to make art is very great, especially the fact that they use children's art. The route is a proud celebration of the city's heritage and history. Janine Lee, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.